Hello students, today we are going to talk on gametogenesis. The formation of gametes is termed as gametogenesis. The process of the formation of haploid gametes from the undifferentiated diploid germ cells in the gonads for sexual reproduction is called gametogenesis. Gametogenesis is the first phase in the sexual reproduction of animals. Types and phases of gametogenesis. Since the gametes are usually two types, gametogenesis is also of two types. Spermatogenesis, which is the formation of sperms and oogenesis, which is the formation of ova. Both the processes are basically similar though minor differences exist. Both involves three important phases. Multiplication phase in which the germ cells of the gonads multiply by mitosis. Growth phase in which the germ cells grow in size and maturation phase in which meiosis take place to produce the gametes. Spermatogenesis. Spermatogenesis begins at puberty and is the process throughout life. Spermatogenesis is the process of the development of spermatozoa in the male testis. In the animals, the testes are complex organs consisting of numerous seminiferous tubules. Spermatogenesis is an uninterrupted process observed in the seminiferous tubules and at the same time various stages of the development of the sperm are also observed. Events in Spermatogenesis The entire process of spermatogenesis can be divided into two stages namely formation of spermatids and spermiogenesis. Formation of spermatids. Spermatogenesis begins in the germinal epithelial cells of the seminiferous tubules. The germinal cells are also called primordial germ cells. There are three phases in the conversion of primordial germ cells into spermatids. They are multiplication phase, growth phase and maturation phase. Multiplication phase. The undifferentiated primordial germ cells are larger in size and their nuclei are distinct. They undergo repeated mitotic cell division to produce spermatogonia. Spermatogonia contain a diploid number of chromosomes and enter the next phase of growth. Growth phase. During this phase, a limited growth of spermatogonia takes place. They increase double in volume. The cells are known as primary spermatocytes which are diploid in nature. Maturation phase. In maturation phase, a diploid primary spermatocyst produces four haploid spermatids. The reduction is finished by meiosis, which consists of two consecutive cell divisions. First, meiotic division. It reduces the number of chromosome from diploid to haploid. The phenomenon of crossing over takes place which enables an exchange of parts of the chromosomes. At the site where a crossing has occurred and the chromosomes are connected by the chiasma. During metaphase, centromeres become attached to the spindle fibers. During anaphase, two chromosomes separates from one another and are drawn to the opposite poles. At the end of the telophase, two haploid daughter cells emerge from a spermatocytes and are known as secondary spermatocytes. Second meiosis from each secondary spermatocyte produces two haploid spermatids. At metaphase, the centromere align along the equatorial plate and duplicate during anaphase the daughter centromeres with the help of the spindle fibers move to the relevant poles. Consequently, four cells are formed from two meiotic divisions. These are called spermatids. The spermatids have a haploid set of chromosomes. The spermatids are not functioning as male gametes. They have to undergo a process of differentiation to become the spermatozoa. Spermiogenesis. The differentiation of the spermatids into spermatozoan 
is called spermiogenesis. The haploid spermatid is a typical cell containing nucleus and cytoplasm with centrioles, Golgi bodies and mitochondria. The sperm is a very active and mobile cell. Therefore, to provide greater mobility to the sperm, following changes occurs. Changes in the nucleus. Chromosome becomes closely packed into a small volume and the nucleus gradually reduces in size by trailing water from the nuclear sap. Motility of the spermatozoan increase as weight is reduced. Shape of the nucleus changes from spherical to elongated. The head of the spermatozoans assumes different shapes in different animals. Man and bull, ovoid and flattened. Rodents and amphibians, sword with pointed tip. Birds and some mollusk, spirally twisted like a corkscrew. Acrosome formation. Golgi bodies are responsible for the formation of acrosome of the spermatozoans. In premature spermatid, the Golgi body is concentrated near the frontal end of the nucleus. It consists of a series of membrane arranged concentrically around a cluster of small vacuoles. One of the vacuoles start enlarging and the small intense body, the proacrosomal granule is found in it. The vacuole is with its granule and is found near the tip of the nucleus. The proacrosomal granule develops into the acrosomal granule. Acrosomal granule forms the core of the acrosome. In the next stage, the cap of the spermatozoan develops. The remaining part of the Golgi body is gradually reduced and ultimately discarded from the spermatid as Golgi rest. Changes in the centrosome. After the second meiotic division, centrosome of the spermatid divides into two centrioles. The centrioles are in the form of two cylindrical bodies lying at right to each other. During early stage of sperm differentiation, the two centrioles move towards the neck regions of the sperm nucleus. The distal centriole of the spermatozoan gets positioned behind the proximal centriole with its axis parallel to the longitudinal axis of the sperm. The axial filament of the flagellum of the spermatozoan is formed from distal centriole which acts as a basal granule. Changes in the mitochondria. The mitochondria of the spermatid join in one continuous body which becomes twisted spirally around the axial filament and distal centriole. In other animals, particularly in mammals, a condensed layer called manchete in sperm is confined to the periphery of the middle piece of the sperm. Ring centriole. The posterior end of the middle piece is marked by dark ring known as ring centriole. This ring centriole forms the boundary between the middle piece and the tail. Axial filament. The axial filament of the sperm has the same structure as the axial filament of the flagella and cilia present in other animals and plant cells. It has a pair of longitudinal fibers in the center and a ring of nine pairs of longitudinal fibers surrounding it. Types of sperms. Sperms are of two types flagellate spermatozoa and non-flagellate spermatozoa. Flagellate spermatozoa. Flagellate sperms contain one or two flagella. Example, sea urchin, amphioxus, sturgeon, frog, turtle, chick and man. Non-flagellate spermatozoa. Flagella are absent in sperm. Example, 
crayfish ascaris. Oogenesis It is a complicated process. The events in oogenesis can be divided into three phases multiplication phase, growth phase, and maturation phase. Multiplication phase The primordial germ cell undergoes propagation by mitotic division and forms oogonia or egg mother cell. By repeating mitotic divisions, oogonia multiplies. When the mitotic division stops, the oogonia is known as primary oocytes and it enter into the growth phase. Growth phase. The growth phase plays bigger role in oogenesis compared to spermatogenesis. During oogenesis, first mitotic division starts and synthetic activity in nucleus and cytoplasm is carried out. Due to this activity, the oocyte increases greatly in volume and size. The growth period of oocyte is divided into pre-vitalogenesis and vitalogenesis. Pre-vitalogenesis During this growth period, the primary oocyte of nucleus and cytoplasm increases enormously in volume. Growth of nuclear substances Mostly because of large production of nuclear sap, the nucleus of oocyte become enlarged. The chromosome increase in length and acquires characteristic appearance. Due to the bushy appearance of chromosome, it is called as Lambrush chromosome. The nucleolus of the growing oocyte increases greatly in size. Growth of cytoplasmic substances. During the growth period of the oocyte, the amount of the cytoplasm increases quantitatively. Mitochondria are less in young oocyte but increase in number during growth of oocyte. Endoplasmic reticulum. The cytoplasm of young oocyte contain several endoplasmic reticulum and to these cell inclusions often ribosomes are attached at its surface. Cortical granules. Cortical granules are formed in mature oocytes. The cortical granules are spherical body surrounded by simple membrane and containing acid and mucopolysaccharides which synthesize fertilization membrane during fertilization. Maturation phase. The primary oocyte contains diploid number of chromosomes. After the completion of growth in oocyte, the meiosis takes place during which diploid chromosome number is reduced to haploid number. This is known as maturation. In the beginning of the maturation phase, nuclear membrane breaks up and the content of the nucleus gets mixed up in the surrounding cytoplasm. The chromosomes are carried to the periphery of the oocyte and an achromatic spindle is formed at the periphery. The bivalent chromosomes are situated on equatorial plates and separate into two components of the chromosome. The outer pole of the spindle with the half of the chromosome enter into its cytoplasmic bulge during first meiotic division of anaphase. The bulge is then separated from the oocyte as the small cell known as first polar body. Now the oocyte is distinguished at the secondary oocyte. In the second meiotic division, an achromatic spindle is formed at the surface. When division takes place, half of the chromatids are given off to form a secondary polar body. The big cell receives much part of the cytoplasm with one half of the chromatid and is known as fully matured ovum. Now in the maturation of egg, four cells result from one oocyte. One cell that is the egg is a functional gametes. The second and the third cells are formed from the division of the first polar body and the fourth cell is the second polar body. All this polar body later on disintegrates because they have no food and little cytoplasm. Vitalogenesis 
yolk appears in the oocyte in the second period of their growth is called vitellogenesis period. The yolk is the most essential form of food in the egg. The process of formation and deposition of yolk in the oocyte is known as vitellogenesis. It is present in the form of granules or platelets. The origin of yolk. At first, when an oocyte starts developing, it does not contain any nutrient. There are two views regarding the place of the origin of yolk. In situ origin. In the oocyte cytoplasm, very small amount of yolk is synthesized. Example, invertebrates, egg, exogenous origin. A main part of the yolk is synthesized outside the oocyte. In insect, it is synthesized in the fat body while in vertebrates, it is synthesized in the liver. Transportation of yolk. In vertebrates liver, the yolk is synthesized in a soluble state. It is elated by the blood stream to the follicle cells present around the oocytes. The follicle cells deposit the yolk in the oocyte. The transport of yolk to the oocyte is facilitated by the development of finger-like structure called microvilli of oocyte and follicle cells. The processing of yolk by the oocyte. Yolk is not directly produced by liver, but the precursor of yolk called vitellogenin is synthesized. When vitellogenin comes in contact with oocyte, it is transformed into yolk. The yolk component of mitochondria is transported by Golgi complex and endoplasmic reticulum. Mitochondrial enzyme called protein kinase convert the soluble yolk component to insoluble form. Protein kinase enzyme crystallizes the soluble yolk into insoluble yolk platelets or yolk granules. Yolk platelets. The yolk platelets are oval and flattened. They contain two main proteinaceous substances, phosphatin and lipovitelin. Example, amphibian eggs. Yolk granules. Protein yolk of many invertebrates like echinoderms and lower chordates consist fine yolk granules which are distributed in the cytoplasm of yolks. Yolk sphere. In birds and reptiles, the yolk is found as compact mass in the interior of the egg. The cytoplasm is found as thin layer on the anterior surface. In yolk sphere, most of the yolk is in liquid form, but about 23% is in solid form. Egg membranes. The eggs are well protected by egg membranes. The membranes are produced either by the egg itself or by the follicle cells of the ovary or by the oviduct of the mother. The egg membranes are classified into three types, primary membranes, secondary membranes and tertiary membranes. Primary membranes. The primary membranes are secreted by the ooplasm. They are closely attached to the surface of the egg. They are plasma membranes. The egg is covered by plasma membranes immediately. The plasma membrane is present mostly in all animal eggs. The structure of the plasma membranes resemble plasma membranes of the typical cells. Vitaline membrane found closely attached to the plasma membranes. It is found in the eggs of animals like insect, molluscans, echinoderms, amphioxus, amphibians, bird. Vitaline membranes is very transparent and thin and is formed of fibrous protein and mucopolysaccharides. After fertilization, 
this membrane is lifted off and separates out from the egg surface. After fertilization, vitiline membranes is known as fertilization membrane. The space between plasma membrane and vitiline membranes is known as perivitaline space, which is filled by perivitaline fluid. Chorion. It is found in the eggs of lower chordates like fishes, that is, styla. It is secreted by ooplasm. Zona radiata. The egg of the shark, that is, Skylum canicula, has two primary membranes secreted by ooplasm. The outer membrane is known as vitaline membrane and the inner membrane is known as zona radiata. The eggs of teleost fishes are also covered by zona radiata. Zona pellucida. All mammalian eggs are surrounded by a membrane known as zona pellucida. It is so named because it gives a striated appearance. The striations are due to the presence of microvilli and macrovilli in this membrane. The microvilli are secreted by the egg surface and the macrovilli are secreted by the follicle cells. Jelly coat. The eggs of marine aquatic invertebrates are covered by non-living jelly like layer outside the vital line membrane known as jelly coat. Secondary membranes. The secondary membranes are secreted by developing oocyte. The secondary membranes are usually impermeable and tough. The secondary membranes are as follows. Chorion. It is common outer covering in the eggs of insect and cyclostomes. It is found outside the vital line membrane. As the chorion is impermeable and tough, it is provided with one or more openings known as micropiles through which the sperms enter the egg. Corona radiata. It is found in mammalian eggs. This membrane is form layer of follicle cells. The cells are arranged around the zona pellucida. Tertiary membranes. The tertiary membranes are formed by the oviduct. White albumin. It is found in the egg of chick. It is found outside the vital line membrane. It is made up of three layers, an inner less dense albumin, a middle dense albumin and an outer less dense albumin. The albumin is formed of 85% water and 15% protein. The protein is mainly in the form of albumin. Shell membrane. In the egg of chick, the shell membrane is found around the albumin and it is double membrane. The two membranes adhere closely and are separated by an air space at the blunt end of the egg. This membrane is formed of keratin. Shell. The shell is the outer covering of land eggs. It is formed of calcium carbonate white or brown in color. It contains as many as 7000 minute pores. The pores are 0.04 to 0.05 mm in diameter. Jelly coat. The amphibian eggs are surrounded by the gelatinous covering known as jelly coat. It is secreted by the oviduct and is made of polysaccharides and proteins. The mermaid's purse. It is found in egg case of cartilaginous fishes. It is protective hard shell secreted by the shell glands in the oviduct. The shape of the purse is generally rectangular. The corners of the shell are drawn out into four long twisted elastic filaments which serves to attach the eggs to sieverts. In dogfish, chyloskelium 
development is completed within this purse. Now, we would summarize the entire session that we have talked on gametogenesis. Gametogenesis occurs in both the sexes and is of two types that is spermatogenesis and oogenesis. Spermatogenesis occurs in male gonads that is testes while oogenesis occurs in female gonads that is ovaries. These gonads develop from undifferentiated gonad during the embryonic development. Later, it divides into ovary and testes depending on the genetic sex. Spermatogenesis occurs in the males starting with the formation of spermatogonia which converts to spermatids through meiotic division and later to sperm having haploid state. In contrast, oogenesis occurs in females where the oocyte develops from the primary follicles and further differentiates through reduction division into ovum having haploid state. Thus, the two gametes formed undergoes the process of fertilization which takes place for the development of new organism. Hope you fetched a good knowledge from this session. Thank you.